Hi, this is Dave from Unplugged Woodworking and today I'm going to show you how to make some pegs. Um, going to be no lathe and no shave hose. This is all going to be done on the bench, so yes, I've done it. So here I'm just splitting the wood and this is just to make sure I get some nice straight grain which is going to be important because these pegs are going to get a lot of abuse so you definitely want to use straight grain material. Next I straighten up the material, this is nothing special, I just basically eyeball it, I'm not using a square or anything, I just make it reasonably straight to my eyes. Next up is the bog standard way that I mark out say, um, for anything like this, basically I draw a cross and use a compass and that's it, that's how technical it gets for me. Now here comes the fun part, actually making the square stock round. This actually isn't as bad as what a lot of people might think, it's pretty simple. If you look at what I'm doing, I'm just using two sticks. These have got notches in, the notches are cut at 45 degrees and this just accommodates um, the corners of the square stock. Uh, here you can see how I'm fixing it. This is just a very fine wedge here uh, with a peg. Uh, and as you can see, I just push it down and it keeps it in perfect place. So after I've used my number four, I do tend to switch to my 101, the me little loofahs pin, I like to call it. Once I've got the stock pretty close, um, I pretty much take it out of the uh, sticks and I just start measuring out uh, for what I want, which in this case was eight inches each. Uh, and I'll just start paring down with my little 101. Um, you'll not see it on the video, but I do actually have tapers um, on both ends of the pegs. Um, the reason I'm doing this the way I'm doing it is because it's easier to handle the material when it's one big length. Next up, I switch to a card scraper. I find a card scraper just it's a nice little tool just to finish up to get you that nice fit whatever whatever sort of fit you're looking for um obviously i'm just going backwards and forwards just trying to fit uh, repeatedly once i get it as close as possible i have then got to cut um the the final size of the peg um, here I'm just finishing up with the tape as and as I said before there's actually a tape at both ends um, I'll explain this at the end of the video why I do this uh, you don't have to do this but I do recommend it to finish off the peg I just create a little chamfer all the way around. Um, I use my marking knife, uh, you know, just to get uh, rid of the material there, uh, you know, quickly. Uh, and then I just finish up with a file. This is just to make everything nice and smooth. In the next clip, you're going to see why I tape uh, the pegs, the way I tape them. So when I only put a little taper on, one end they'll actually stick up quite tall in the air and the other end they actually go down quite say low and that's why i taper them how i taper them um and that's it thanks for watching guys